Hi everyone, welcome back to Java class. So let us continue the journey to learn how to create graphical user interface using Swing component in Java programming language. In today's session, you will learn how to create a J label on the frame and on a panel. So before creating a J label, let us explore the Swing component hierarchy. So here you can see the J label component, which is a subclass or which is present inside a J component in this Swing's hierarchy, right? So let us move back and understand how to create a J label. So in order to create a J label, you will use a J label class. So you will create an instance of J label L1 is equal new J label, right? So this label we have created or you can write the name of a label like for example, first name, this is the name of a label. So after creating a label, you will add this label on the frame. So here you will add this label L1 to the frame. So here you can see this is a frame we have created right now after this we are creating a j label or inside your frame we have added this label l1 on the frame let us run it and you will see what is the output of it so it is showing this first name right it is showing the label first name let me just close it in the similar way you will you can create the multiple labels so let me create one more label so you can write the j label L2 is equal the new J label or maybe this label name will be the last name, right? Last name or in the similar way, you will add this label to the frame also. This is L2. So now you will save your program and you can run it. So you can see it is showing the last name. It is not showing the label that is a first name we have created. So why it is showing only the last name? Because by default, your frame layout is the border layout. And we have to assign this component like label one and label two into the different directions of your border layout. So border layout help us to align the component on the container in five different locations like east, west, north, south, and center. So otherwise only one component will be displayed on your frame. So by default, your frame layout is the border layout. So how will you assign it? So here you can write simple add L1 comma border layout dot east you can write, right? So what is the meaning of it? Means your first name, First name, this is a label which will align in the east location, in the east border location. And this label two will be aligned in the border. I will write border layout dot west. So this last name will come in the west location. So what is border layout? I have discussed in our previous video session. Please watch it first, then you will be able to understand how to use the border layout and what is the use of it, right? So I will run it again and you will see what is the output of it. So you can see it is showing the first name in the east location and the last name in the west location, right? In the similar way, you can create the multiple labels and you can assign in the different, different locations. So I will add like, for example, the new J label, right? And this J label, name is the one or I will assign it in the different locations border layout dot north right so in the similar way I can create the multiple labels and I can assign in the different different directions of the frame like this is the label two I can write this is the label three or it will come in the north it will come in the south or next will come into the center. So in each direction, you can align one component, right? So let us run this and you will see what is the output of it. So here you can see it is showing the one in the north, two in the 
south and three which is inside a center location so you can see it is showing the weird output right so what can you do you can just customize the location of your each and every component on the frame so in order to provide the customized location of each labels on the frame what will you do you have to set the layout of your frame as null okay so it will not utilize it will not take the default layout so now we have done we have set layout of the frame as null or using the set bound function you can set the different locations like set bounds this is the method set bound you can provide the x and y location for example the x location is 50 y location is 50 and width is for example 100 and the height is for example 30 so like this you can mention so right click on it or you can run it okay so this first name is coming you can see what is the location of first name from the left it is 50 from the top it is 50 the size means width is 100 and the height is 30 in the similar way you can assign the custom location and size of your label 2 so label 2 is l2 you can assign the size it like x location is 50 that is okay there is no problem but y location you can change so first so the last name will come after the first name let us run it and you will see the output this is the first name and this is the last name so guys in the similar way you can set the location of your next label like one two and three so what we have done here we have created different labels on the frame right that may help you to understand if you would like to organize or group your labels on the frame using a panel means how to create different labels on the panel so let me move to the another programs here so this is the program where we are trying to create labels on the panel so in order to create labels on the panel what we have done i have created a frame first right and i have set the layout as null of this frame I have created a panel and the size of this panel is 50 50 means this is the x and y position and this is the width is 200 and height is 100 and the color is yellow and I have added this panel on the frame. So let me run this program and you will see what is the output of it then only you will understand how to create the label. So this is a frame inside it we have a panel or inside this panel I would like to add some labels or some components so how will you add it so it is a very simple way you will just create a j label j label l1 is equal you will write the new j label or this j label name you can write here for example the first name right in the similar way i will create one more label so this label name is l2 and it's is the last name this is the name of this label last name so what can i do i can set the position of it using like l1 dot set bounds right or i let me just show you without setting the position so you will see what is the output of it j label l1 is equal new label first name j label l2 is equal new label last name now I will add both the components L1 and L2. So right now what will you do? You will not add these L1 and L2 on the frame. You will add on panel. So I will write panel 1.add. In the similar way you will write panel 1.add or you will write your component that is L2. So what we have done? We have created two labels and these two labels we have added on the panel. So let us run this and you will see what is the output of it. So here we go. You can see it is showing the first name and the last name, right? So last name means the next label is coming after the first name. It is not coming after the means in the next line. It is not coming in the next line. It is just in the same line in the flow. 
it is like in the flow in the text direction like your text is flow from the left to right so it is just your component are flowing right so let me just close it and i will show you some magics right so i will just change the size of this uh frame and little bit i will change the size of this panel 300 and i will create the one more uh one more label so you will see next is the label number three the label number three i will write here the address right address of a person or in the similar way you will just copy this i will add this label three to the panel again right so let us run this and you will see what is the output so here we go you can see your all the labels are coming one after another in the same line means these are coming in a flow of direction of your text inside a paragraph but sometimes you need to provide the custom location custom size custom location custom size of these labels so how will you provide so here there is a role of again a layout manager so you know very well what is the use of layout manager layout manager help us to arrange or organize the component on the container and why it is coming one after another because we are adding these component l1 l2 and l3 on the j panel right and default and by default the layout manager of your j panel is the flow layout so let me help you to understand what is the flow layout okay so here you can see what is the flow layout so this is the flow layout which is present inside awt package a flow layout arranges component in a direction flow much like lines of text in a paragraph the flow direction is determined by the container so here you can see the direction may be from left to right or right to left okay so flow layout are you can see the flow layout are typically used to arrange buttons in a panels or the labels on the panels so it arranges buttons horizontally until no more buttons fit on the same size so by default your your components will be aligned from left to right and here you can see the output on the panel you may have created multiple labels like first name last name and address or these are aligned from left to right in the direction of in the direction of the flow of your text on the paragraph right so if you would like to just provide some custom location custom direction of your component so you can set that part also or if you would like to change the location of it that you can also do it so let me help you to understand how will you do it okay so this is about a flow layout i hope you understand it so let me move to your program now and here you will understand so in order to provide the custom location and the custom size of your component like label one two and three over a panel what you have to do the important property of the panels means you have to set the layout of your panel as null so here you will write the panel one dot set layout so here you can provide the null so what we have done your panel layout is null or right now you are free to use the custom location of all your components like label one label two and label three so now i can call label one dot set bounds function or i can set the position of label one on the panel like 50 and the y is 50 or width i can write 100 height i can write the 20. in the similar way you can call this set bounds on all the labels right this is label two this is label three so this is x position the y position is 50 here you can write the next position is 80 or this the next y position is 100 we can change the size of your panel also 200 right so this is 50 80 and 110 i can do right so let's see your set bounds function is working or not let us run this program and you will see what is the output of it so guys you can see your first name last name and address are coming you know in in a kind of in a in a good 
manner right your locations are very good this is first name last name and address so this is a way how to create the labels on the panel so in order to provide the uh, the custom location and the size of your labels you have to set layout of your panel as null so by default the layout of your j panel is flow that will flow in the direction of your text from left to right so in order to just set so j labels has multiple this j label class has multiple methods you can set the foreground color of your labels for example l1 dot set foreground for example i will write l1 dot set foreground color so you can see this is the foreground color you can write color dot blue right so i will call it i will run it you will see what is the output of it color dot blue right so this is the way l1 dot set foreground color you will run it you can see your first name color is now the blue color you can uh, set the font of it for example like l1 dot set font okay set font so inside it you can set the font how will you set the font i will use the new font or inside it you can provide the attribute for example the font name is arial font then you can write font type is it is bold or italic you can write bold center italic different kind of you can provide the font or for example the size is 20 so let us run this program and you will see what is the output. So here we go. You can see your font of this label is changed. So guys, in the similar way, you can apply the multiple methods of your J labels on the different labels. So this is your practice. You can do it. So in, in this or in today's session, what we have covered, I told you how to create the label component, the label on the frame, right? how to create label on the panel. So frame is a independent window where you can align your labels as per your uh, you know, size and uh, the location or on the panel. The panel help us to organize uh, your component or it will help you to make group of your components. So you can create multiple panels on the multiple panels you can create multiple labels or multiple components over it now you have the two options guys you can create your component on the frame or you can create your component on the panels so that is your wish which way you would like to pursue in order to create the graphical user interface so guys oh, uh, so i hope guys you understand this concept and how to work on the gui components so guys if you like this video please click on the like subscribe the channel and please give your feedback you understand or not so i will be able to improve myself right so please write the feedback in the comment section thank you bye bye have a great day all the very best